okay now we are going to start the assembly of the y axis and that requires uh, the following parts uh, first of all the base plate the base plate is there the side plates are there there's one motor mount here and one motor mount side support with a hole uh, to one side so what we will do is we will uh, use this plate with the labels and put it face down and we will install the sides like we did for the x-axis and the motor mount also goes in there and the side is also installed so this is very similar to the x-axis installation Again, do not use any glue at this stage, just do a tight fit. Now once the base is prepared, now we will install the drawer slides. The two small drawer slides will be installed. First this part will be taken out. There is a lock here which has to be depressed to take, in, to take it out, slide it out. Okay. Now we will do it the same for the other slide. And again the orange part will be put near the motor mount and one on each side will be put up. So we will put this on one side, the holes will match up and we will use wood screws to install it. Again the orange has to come towards the motor mount the holes will match up and we will start putting in wood screws so we will we'll install all of the wood screws uh, where the holes are matching up and then we will come back and we'll do it for this side also the same thing for this side and then we'll come back okay, so now uh, we have just tightened okay, so now uh, screws we have just tightened the, the side screws keeping the orange the towards the motor sides. mount there keeping the orange towards screws. the motor mount there were there were five four screws. screws sorry there were four screws there were four here. screws wood screws sorry, there were one four screws here two wood screws one two, three and three four and so four. there are four screws here and uh, both sides so there have been four tightened screws here and now uh, we will start, start the carriage assembly for the now we will start the carriage assembly for the y you will need the y carriage assembly you will need the y carriage this is the y carriage date this is the y carriage this is the assembled double nut assembled double nut system which will be put uh, we will also need the y limit switch we will also need the y limit switch for the y and we will need the side so our idea for y axis will be so our idea for y axis will be carriage similar to the x axis carriage this will be the carriage this will go inside this will go inside from here and the limit switch will be mounted on the side the limit switch will be mounted on the side and this will be put onto this side this will be put here so this will be put okay. here. So let us start by okay. mounting the double let us nut start assembly by to the mounting the double nut assembly to the y axis. You may need a file or it is you okay. may need a file or it is okay. this will be tight. It has to be tight. This will be tight. It has use to be tight. Hammer to gently use a hammer to gently put this in. So the double nut assembly has come in. So the double nut assembly has now come in. Now we will we will okay, we will also need to put okay, we will the also linear need slides to put the these. linear slides onto these. So like we did for the x axis. So like we did for the x axis. So there are two sides. So there are two sides there. We'll use the there. We'll M4 4mm 
M4 mm long 15 mm long bolts again we will tighten the again we will tighten the bolts very tightly with the help of our wrench bolts very tightly with the help of any to avoid any in the axis in the movement in the axis in the movement Okay, so we have uh, installed okay, the so slides we have, uh, onto the sides of the y-axis on the sides on one the y-axis. This on one side. The notch is here. This on one side. The notch is here. Here the M4. The nut side on the other side. The nut side on the other side. Now before we install this, now before we install this, there will be switch. We need to install the limit bolt here, which is a 35 mm here. Which is a 35 mm. So this will be installed. The nut on this will be installed with the nut on this side. And after this, what we will do is, and after this, what we, we will, will have to is, take out this, uh, this we will have to take uh, out support this, here, uh, this slide this in, support here, and the to slide this in, uh, both the sides will the, be uh, slid in, both the sides will be uh, slid in. Okay, the M3 bolt has been now put in. Okay, the M3 bolt has been now put in. Okay, so the M3 nut has been okay. So the this, M3 this nut has nut been put in. This, this bolt this basically presses the. Uh, this bolt basically presses the. So limit now the Y carriage is set up. So now, now the Y carriage is set up. Now we will slide this in. So actually we will not need required so to take this out. Actually we will not we need required to take this out. We can just install it. Slide that in first. Slide that in first. Slide the slides. Slide the slides. And this will be okay. And this will be very tightly held. Very tightly held. Note that on the y axis, note that on the y axis that we are building, the hole is hole for the hole is hole for the hot wire is on the right side. Hole for the hot wire is on the right side. Now we will glue this in. Now we will glue this in. Always do a dry fit first before gluing. Always do a dry fit first before gluing. Hold tightly in place. Hold tightly in place. Be sure to hold this tightly in place so that be sure no to hold this tightly in place so that there is no play in this. Add some more glue to strengthen this. Add some more glue to strengthen this. You can also add glue to these sides. You can also add glue so that this lock sides. can be so that the lock can be installed firmly. This is the y axis. So this is the assembly. y axis. Now we will put in the short assembly. Threaded now rod. we will put in the short from one side. Rod. From one side. 
and it is threaded from and one is threaded end. from and it will one start coming end. out and it from will start end. coming out from the other end. the threaded rod has been installed okay, the threaded rod has been installed and it has come out from the side and it has come now out the, the next side. part would be to install now the, the next switch. part would be to install the limit, limit switch will be installed limit switch using will be installed the using the, the switch support since the, the switch. bolt has come from this side since the bolt, bolt has come, come from, from this side, side so bolt has come from this, this side will be installed so this will be installed This will be installed. This will be installed facing the back side. I mean, facing the, back, the side. back side. I mean, and the switch will be installed the back side. like this. And the switch will be installed like so this. So that the bolt will trigger the limit switch. So that the bolt will trigger first the limit switch. First, we will uh, mount the. First, we will uh, mount the on the base plate switch, which has a on wire the base on plate, it. which has a wire written on use it. Use the Phillips head screws. Use the Phillips head screws. Tighten this out. To tighten this out. Both of them, both of them, now this will be installed, now this will on be the installed base plate with the back on side, the base plate lining with, with the, the back line. side, we will check lining with the line, we will check by the switch is being triggered by the so board. this completes the y so axis this completes uh, build. the y axis uh, we build through this plate uh, there's this one plate. more thing one last thing we uh, need there's to one do more thing we one last thing we build. need to do and that is we install the side build. plate and that is side plate will be installed plate. on the motor mount side plate will be installed on the motor mount just try to keep it 90 degrees just and glue try it to in keep place. it 90 degrees and glue it in place So this completes the y axis so build. this completes the y axis build um, if if you want uh, we can also install if the bolt if you want we can also the install the bolt hot wire for the hot wire the bolt will be installed here the on, bolt will on be this installed bolt here the, on on this bolt uh, high the hot wire will be tightened uh, high hot wire will be on tightened and then we have this nut and then we have bolt which which will be threaded from the opposition which will be threaded from the opposition so now we'll keep the y axis aside and we'll so now start we'll keep the y axis, axis aside and we'll start and work on the z axis, axis. Z axis and, uh, will be a copy of the x axis. Z axis will be a copy of the x axis and y axis will be a copy of the y axis.